Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Spring Framework and Spring Boot tutorial. So we are in session three. In the last videos, we have seen about the introduction of framework and the need of going with Spring Framework. The introduction of Spring we have seen. And today let us go with the overview of Spring modules. What are the modules present in Spring? Let us discuss the overview. Spring modules overview. So we are having the different modules in Spring. As Spring is developed in modular fashion, it is having the modules like Spring Core Module, Spring Context Module, then Spring AOP Module, Spring DAO Module, Spring Web MVC Module, then we are having spring ORM module. So these are the different modules available which we are going to discuss in spring framework. So once we go with spring boot, we will be learning some more modules like spring data JPA module, spring rest module, spring security module, all those things we will be discussing. So in this spring framework, we are going to discuss these modules. So which are based to enter into spring boot. Now let us understand the purpose of this one by one module now. So coming to this spring core module, this is the base module for us. This is the base module. So without having core module, we cannot go with other modules. So to work with any other module, we require this core module. So what is this? Spring core module. Spring core module is the base module for spring framework. It is a base module for spring framework then what it is going to provide is spring core module provides provides fundamental concepts fundamental concepts of spring like it's going to provide inversion of control it's going to provide inversion of control which we call io sync and one more very very important term dependency injection one more important term dependency injection so these two terminologies are very very important to understand spring framework so in the next videos i'll be elaborating more about these two terms dependency injection and inversion of control then, the next module is spring context module so what is the main need of Context module is to provide the configurations required for the application. Like when we go with the application, we may create so many classes. So which classes are going to act as Spring Bean class? So that details we have to provide in this Spring Context module. So Spring Context module, Spring Context module is used to take care of is used to take care of configurations required for the application configurations required for the application then the next important module is spring aop module aop stands for aspect oriented programming and the name we need of going with this aop module is like Spring AOP module is used is used to separate is used to separate the business logic the business logic and cross cutting logics cross cutting logics of the application. So what do you mean by business logic? For example, if I want to insert if I want to insert uh, like a product into the table. So inserting that insert operation is our business logic. And what are these cross cutting logics are like? So when you are doing some insert operation, we should take care of security, logging, transactions, all those things we should take care. That we call them as cross cutting logics. So I'm writing here cross cutting logics. Or let me write business logic. The meaning of business logic is like, like example, inserting 
a product into a database table then cross cutting logics cross cutting logics so when you are doing some insert operation we should take care of security we should take care of logging we should take care of transactions like this so this cross cutting logics we should separate so if you write all these cross cutting logics also in business logic the maintenance will be difficult for us the maintenance part will be difficult so in future if i want to do some changes only to logging again i have to come back to this complete code and do the changes so if i want to do changes only to the transaction related again i have to come to the complete code and do the changes instead of that by using this aop module we can separate business logic and cross cutting logics very very easily so this we discuss more when we discuss more on this aop module the next important module is spring dao module spring dao module which we perform by using spring jdbc module even we call it as jdbc module what is this dao is dao stands for data access object dao stands for what it is data access object then you can see dao is an interface or class it can be an interface or class with set of methods with set of methods used to operate a database it mainly comes what to operate your database it comes with some set of methods mainly to operate database now the main need of going with this spring dao module is spring dao module is used to develop persistence layer persistence persistence means we where we connect to the databases to insert the data into database table to get the records from table to uh, update the records to delete the records those are all operations we call them as persistence means permanent data layer now now by using simple plain jdbc also we can go with persistence layer we can manage the databases then what is the need of going with this spring jdbc module let us understand so when you go with the plain jdbc so what we have learned in advanced java when we go with this plain jdbc the steps is we need to load the driver class we need to load the driver class establish the connection and we are write the code in try and catch block means handle the exceptions handle the exceptions then we should create statement we should execute statement we should close statement and we should close connection so these many steps we need to take care when we go with this plain jdbc so whenever you are writing jdbc program we have to write all these steps whenever we write jdbc program we write all these steps so this is boilerplate code boilerplate code means repetitive job repetitive job only we call boilerplate here so the boilerplate code is taken care by spring jdbc so whereas in spring jdbc the connections part handling exceptions closing operations everything is taken care by your spring framework as a developer we go with only execute statement so as a developer we do what only execute statement so this is the advantage of going with this spring jdbc module it's mainly to develop persistence layer The next module is Spring Web MVC module. Spring Web MVC module. This is for Spring Web MVC module. Module is used to develop dynamic web applications. Is used to develop server side. Server side dynamic web applications right then mvc stands for model view and controller and the main use of going with mvc architecture is mvc architecture is used to make the model independent of you 
is used to make the model independent of you. So when we are developing web applications, the model means the business logic should not depend on the view part. View means presentation. The content, whatever we display on browser, we call it as view. So when you are doing the business logic, that is model, I should not think of the presentation. I, the business logic should, should be totally independent of you. So for that purpose only we go with this MVC architecture. And this is Spring MVC is built is built on top of Servlets API. So this MVC module is built on top of Servlets API. So this is mainly used to develop server-side dynamic web applications. The next model is Spring ORM module. The Spring ORM module is used to develop persistence layer. Persistence layer. So even this Spring JDBC is also for persistence layer. So Spring ORM module is also for persistence layer. So the main advantage of going with Spring ORM module over JDBC is like here we play with objects. It's complete object oriented. It's complete what? Object oriented. So ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. ORM stands for what? Object Relational Mapping. The Hibernate. Hibernate is an ORM framework. Hibernate is what? It's a ORM framework. In Spring ORM, the data is represented in the form of objects. So in the case of Spring ORM, the data is represented in the form of what? Objects. So for example, I want to persist employee. I want to insert employee data into the table. So here what we do, we go with the class employee. We go with the class employee which goes with employee id string employee name then double employee salary then with some setters and getter methods now once we create object here employee emp equal to new employee and once the object is ready with values so what we do we take this emp object we take this EMP object and give it to Spring ORM, like we integrate with Hibernate, and this object is given to the database. Right? So we take the object, so we take your object, give it to Spring ORM, like Hibernate, and that is going to take it in to insert into the database. So we can even take the record from database table and using Spring ORM, we can store back into your java object or in this example emp object in the case of spring orm we play with objects we play with what here objects so whereas in the case of spring jdbc we go with the sql commands we have to write the sql commands related to the uh, database syntax we have to follow the respective database syntax the commands whatever we write we have to follow uh, we have to follow the sql command syntax if you are connecting to mysql we have to write the SQL commands related to MySQL. If we are connecting to Oracle, we are write the SQL commands related to Oracle. So this Spring JDBC module is database dependent, whereas Spring ORM is database independent. It is what database independent. Here we play with the methods. Here we play with the methods to work with the Spring ORM module. So once we come to this module, we'll understand more how to work with the Spring ORM by integrating with Hibernate. So what are the modules I discussed today? It's all simple overview only. Overview only. Now we need to enter into every module and discuss in depth of these modules. So that we'll be doing in the next videos. So that's about for today. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.